Yo, what's up? This is Harvey with Dream Chasers, and today we're going to talk about why rankings don't matter. Lego. No Chanel, Mama and Gucci got out the hoop to get bent to hell. Carry the, carry the, life is a movie, yeah. We prevail. Now we do the coopies, don't do the groupies, yeah. Got money for bail. Yo, I like you know me, knock off your coffee, yeah. Flooded the road, you would eat them. Pack like a train in the beamer. Blowing the money like Freeman. I got a flex in the sleepers. They tryna do me like Caesar. You gotta watch for the creepers. I got the eye of the season. I'm Jillian Newman, I'm 11 years old. I'm a starting point guard on a high school team. I've been playing basketball my whole life, ever since I was three, and I just love it because I love like going around defenders and scoring and passing. It's just fun playing basketball. Um, it's a blessing to coach Julian, uh, to be able to be around him um, on a daily basis. Uh, to help him grow as a student, as a person, and as a player, I uh, wouldn't give it up for the world. He's just an amazing player. He really knows how to play, and he knows what to do to get the job done. Um, there's nobody ever in the history of the game that has played ball um, on varsity in the fifth grade level. My biggest thrill by watching him play is just seeing how well he performs. He has tremendous, tremendous ball handling and court sense. He knows the game. He has tremendous vision on the court. He's a very good passer. Play with Julian is real fun, you know. Um, like we, we came real close so fast. Like, we, we like little, little, big bro, little bro. Even though his age group, I, I, sometimes I forget that he's 11 years old because, you know, we play so much together. Same, almost same uh, skill level up there, you know. Not much difference. Like, he's 11 years old, so we got to teach him things. Like, you know, he's, he's up there with our skill level. So it's just like a, a whole team. Everybody plays their role, so it's kind of fun. Um, Julian in traffic is a, is a joy to watch. He can just navigate through, doesn't matter how big, how tall you are, he's just so much quicker and faster and he has so, much, so many moves that he can get through. So he can wiggle his way around, he has tremendous court sense and court vision once he's in traffic to be able to score or pass. He really loves the game of basketball. Um, that's his love, that's his true love, is to play basketball and watch basketball. If you can't teach it, he can, just something that you're, you're born with. He has a passion and love for the game. Basketball means a lot to me. So I want to one day be in the NBA and hope I accomplish that goal. All right. As you see from the clip, they got Julian Newman. He was one of the best players at, I would say, first to fifth grade. Um, you know, he played high school basketball. Uh, as a fifth grader or sixth grader, something like that, that they uh, rant and raved about him scoring 5,000 points, which if you keep counting points up until like fifth or sixth grade, I'd imagine most people are scoring 5,000 points or, you know, some of the top guns are doing that. Um, you know, definitely not taking those shots at the, at the uh, Newman family, but this is just a, a good example of why rankings should not matter. Off with Julian, um, you know, after after all that hype that he had for all those years, uh, he barely got. I, I think he got maybe one. I think he got one college uh, look from being a phenom. Um, I mean, you know, just to, just to wrap your mind around him not being able to secure a, um, a college scholarship is, is kind of crazy. But I mean, he had some factors that was against him. I mean, for one, he is an undersized uh, point guard. Um, for two. Um, you know, he, he did a lot of dancing and playing with the basketball. Um, you know, he shot the ball a lot. He was trying to score every time down. And being a point guard in college, a lot of college coaches couldn't couldn't handle that or couldn't hang with that. And then, you know, his attitude was really, really bad. I mean, they have a lot of um, a lot of different clips online of him fighting people. Um, you know what I mean? Cussing people out, um, you know, mainly, mainly it was like, you know, if he was guarding somebody and they had, you know, kind of like they were going back and forth and it got tense, he would lose his mind a lot of times. So that hurt him. Just thinking off of what Julian 
went through. I mean, these rankings that they have now, it's kind of funny how, you know, you look at every great, you know, first, second, third, and they got the top players, the number one player, the number three player, um, you know, in their class. And, I mean, I, I don't see why we need that, um, especially given the fact that kids are still growing and developing. If you're the top first grader, well, guess what? There's a ton of first graders that cannot even play right now. Or even if you're in fifth grade, I mean, some people haven't even um, grown to their bodies or, you know, they haven't even begun to touch on athleticism. Um, there's so many different factors when you come to when when you talk about um, you know rankings. One thing about it is that rankings and all that stuff is to me is a money grab. These ranking services get with with these uh, tournament directors, and you know we're gonna put this big tournament in Indianapolis and come and get ranked. Well, everybody's gonna pay the money to come out and get their kid ranked. I mean, it's more bragging rights for the adults than anything else, but, you know, kind of to have that trophy son or daughter. But at the end of the day, this is typically about them making money. Question I have is this. What if you're the number one sixth grader and you're sick that weekend? What, does your ranking drop? Absolutely. They're not going to keep your ranking just because you were number one in September and now October comes around do you think they're just going to they're going to give you your spot or they're going to keep that for you? That's for people to brag. And, and, it, and it's a money grab, I believe. One thing that, th that this does, it makes kids stop working. I mean, if, if you're number one or you're, or you're top 10 in your state or top 10 in the nation, why would a kid want to work harder? I mean, if you as an athlete, if you're ranked high, I mean, a lot of times you're going to walk around with your shoulders held high instead of rolling up your sleeves and still working. One of the things about it is this, when you start talking about rankings, good or bad, let's say you are ranked, well, keep grinding to either get to the top to be number one, and then once you get there, grind to stay there. That's how it works. If you are not ranked, which a lot of kids are not ranked, and they're not going to go to these services to do this stuff, well, you know what? Go chase that person down. Whoever's number one, put them up on your wall. Go chase them down. One last thing. We just got to stop giving so much respect up. Oh, it's Mikey Williams. Oh, it's LeBron James Jr. Like, you know, you're, this particular age group and era that we live in, you guys are going to go get on Instagram and, you know, get on Twitter or whatever, whatever, pro, whatever platform it is now, like Twitch or whatever it is, and you're going to become friends with Mikey Williams and, and LeBron James Jr. Like, no, we're not, we're not friends. Go chase you. If you see the man, chase the man down. All right. Stop giving so much respect. And then once you stop giving so so much respect, what's the next thing that's going to happen when your mindset is to go out and to hunt people? You know what you're going to do? You're going to shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> so make sure you understand you got to you got to go out. And you got a ball. Stop giving so much respect and go out and grind. Get yours. Um, go ahead and like that. Uh, like our, our uh, YouTube page at Dream Chasers Basketball Indie. Uh, subscribe. Share. Um, please spread the word uh, on, on what we're trying to do. Uh, we want to push athletes and we want to keep working at it. Uh, again, I'm going to put my page up so you can see exactly what it is. You know, tell somebody about it. Uh, hit that bell because uh, we're going to be doing stuff. We're going we're to try to do as much as many videos daily as possible because uh, we want to keep educating and we and we want to keep continue to um, to make players and athletes better. Period. Um, it is Christmas Eve. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope that everybody has a safe um, uh, Christmas tomorrow. And uh, that's my time. I'm Harvey Harrington.